Paduk versus Rosewood. You guys will have to pick which marimba is which from a blind test. I actually preferred the Paduk. These resonators can be colored in any color you want, but the price, you know, is, is a big consideration to make when you're buying marimbas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the studio, my name is Adam. It's time to see whether you can tell the difference between Paduk versus Rosewood. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Mallet Lab, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlisle, Greg Harris, Arthur Lipner, Dogs, Dominic Chung, Dean P. Newberger, and Scott Rader. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Min Lee. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. And yes, today's video is about marimbas, but it's more of an interactive video where you guys will have to pick which marimba is which from a blind test. You might remember a couple of years ago, I made a video called Cheap versus Expensive Marimbas. That video was about a Paduk Yamaha marimba, which was worth about $4,000, put against my $20,000 Rosewood Marimba One Izzy, which you can see behind me. While I really enjoyed making that video, it was kind of a false equivalence because one instrument is designed for student use and one instrument is designed for fully fledged professional use. So not really a fair comparison. So naturally, since then, I've always thought if I ever had the opportunity of comparing a Paduk keyboard and a Rosewood keyboard with all other variables remaining the same, I would take it up in an instant. So in July, when we were doing Marimba Fest in Perth, that's this Marimba Fest, a company called Buffalo Percussion, who specializes in marimbas and drums, came all the way here to help us out at our event. And I was really happy to meet them because I've never met any Taiwan percussion brands before. And they said to me that if I ever got to go to Taiwan, they would take us to their factory. So in September, we went to Taiwan and we ended up visiting the Buffalo Percussion factory in Taichung. And before I get too deep into this story, I actually have a brand new blog on my website at adamtanpercussion.com forward slash blog. This blog is gonna feature a whole bunch of posts about percussion related things that I don't feature on the show. And one of those things is actually this factory visit to Buffalo Percussion. So if you'd like to check out that post, it's in the description below or you can click over here. So lo and behold, I get there and yes, we do have a five octave frame that can take both a Paduk keyboard and a Rosewood keyboard, which leads to today's video, the blind test. Now, of course, before I get into this video, I just wanna say that this video is not sponsored by Buffalo Percussion. They're not paying me to say nice things about their brand or anything like that. In fact, I wasn't even paid to go to their factory. It was a completely personal choice because I really like checking out brand new instruments. So I'm not ditching my Marimba One instrument anytime soon. I still love it. But anyway, the blind test. So I recorded three recordings on both the Paduk keyboard and the Rosewood keyboard. All other variables remained the same. It was still me. It was still the same mallets. Keiko Kotoku series 5544, I think. I couldn't bring my own mallets to Taitong because it was a little bit bulky. So I just borrowed some Keiko Kotokus. And I'm gonna be playing these recordings back to you randomly. And they're gonna be blurred out so that you can only hear the audio. And you're gonna have to guess which one is which. Blind test number one, I'm playing Path by Adam Tan, that's my own piece, and I'm going to be playing the octave section on both instruments. So, here is recording A. And here is recording B. Okay, so which one was the Paduk instrument and which one was the Rosewood instrument? Lock in your answer right now. So I'm about to tell you the answer in five, four, three, two, 
One. Okay, so letter A was actually the rosewood instrument. And letter B was the Paduk instrument. Okay, before we discuss any further, let's move to blind test number two, which is me playing some Bach Lute Suite in E minor, BWV 846. And I'm going to be playing this on both instruments once again. So here is recording A. And here is recording B. So which one was the Paduk instrument and which one was the Rosewood instrument? Okay, so I'm going to tell you the answer in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so letter A was actually the Paduk marimba. And letter B was the rosewood marimba. Did you get it right? Did you get it wrong? Hmm, let's move on to the final blind test, which is blind test number three. Okay, so the third and final test is me playing homage to my Taiwanese trip by playing a Taiwanese pop song called Xiao Xing Yun, which means a little happiness. It's by Hebe Tian. It's one of my favorite songs since university time. And yeah, I want you to guess which one is which. So this is recording A. And this is recording B. Okay, so which one did you think was Paduk and which one did you think was Rosewood? Lock in your answer right now and I'll just give you a little bit more time. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Okay, so letter A was the rosewood instrument. And letter B was the Paduk instrument, yes. So let me know down in the comments below, how did you do? Did you get all three right? Did you get all three wrong? Did you get some right and some wrong? Let me know because I personally found it quite difficult to distinguish between the two. I could definitely tell there was a difference. So yeah, if you check out the blog post that is on my blog, adamtranscussion.com forward slash blog, I actually preferred the Paduk instrument for the balance of value for money and also for the fact that the Paduk actually sounded pretty good. Like it doesn't sound like the sort of Paduk I'm used to from cheaper models that sounds very bright and tinny. There was actually some warmth, there was some resonance, there was some sustain. I really enjoyed playing the Paduk version and of course I really, really enjoyed playing the Rosewood version but the price, you know, it's, it's a big consideration to make when you're buying marimbas. In any case, it was really fun to test out the marimbas and also check out the frames themselves. I really enjoyed the fact that they have these really cool oval shaped resonators. And yes, these resonators can be colored in any color you want. I also really like the design of the frame that there is a strong horizontal bar that keeps the rigidity of each side. It's really nice. And I also really like the gas lift, which is a bit like an office chair gas lift. It's still not as good as my marimba one gas lift I think that's like the industry leader right now but it is pretty good and it's definitely better than say a Yamaha gas lift which you have to hold up with one hand and do this whereas that office chair gas lift is just like Poof! and I also really like the solid wood ends it's just a really nice looking instrument and I'd love to spend more time with it so fingers crossed maybe there will be one sent to my studio maybe now of course if you'd like to check out buffalo percussion you can check out a pdf price list of all of their marimbas in the description below and of course I want to thank the team at buffalo once again that's Wendy, David, Mario and also Michelle who came to Perth thank you so much for inviting me to your factory and thank you so much for showing me all of your cool stuff I really appreciate it so much so yes if you enjoyed this video please Please give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And please let me know down in the comments below, has this video changed your mind about Paduk versus Rosewood? Do you own a Paduk marimba? Do you own a Rosewood marimba? What are your thoughts and experiences about this ongoing wood war? <laughs> And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button below to keep off my uploads. Thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it so much. And yes, we are still the biggest percussion channel of its kind on YouTube. So thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. I finally stopped running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Finally stopped running now. Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way That joy you give me every day Makes